What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's week 15 of the NFL season. I know I say it every week, but things are getting really, really spicy. Seriously, it's getting crazy. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six teams. Six teams in the AFC alone that are seven and six. Crazy stuff. But I'm going to pick some games and I'm going to break down the standings and all that. But before I get to all that, I want to introduce you to the newest member of the McMichael family. This is Sushi. Look how cute he is. Hi, Sushi. Hi. Is anyone here, everybody? Look at him. It's a new little buddy, new little guy. We adopted him from the uh, shelter, the NMO shelter in Noblesville. I'm sorry, I forget the name of the shelter, but yeah, this little guy came home with us and named him Sushi. Yeah, he's a good little guy. I lobbied for Reggie, uh, also Obi Wan, um, but Sushi won out. I mean, I love the name. It's a great name. And this guy, you know, he's, he's real cute. Look at him. Just look at him. Yeah. But this guy is the newest member of our family. Yeah, I go. I'm going to. Got to go, buddy. I'm going to go do a video. I mean, you can cuddle for the rest of the night, okay? All right, Sushi. He's uh, just getting things figured out. The uh, other cats, they're uh, getting to know him, so. Hopefully there'll be like three musketeers and we have them all here in a video. But right now we've got some games to pick. Like I said, let's get into it. Thursday night we'll start off with ooh, the game of the week. The Chargers at the Raiders. I'm kidding, this is not the game of the week. Uh the Raiders. They got shut out three to nothing at home against the Minnesota Vikings. Last week, the Chargers, they lost the Denver Broncos 24 to 7. The week before that, they shut out the Patriots. Six to nothing. Um, this game, pff, the battle of two teams that are five and eight, man. Uh, Al Michaels can have a fun, fun time with this one. Al Michaels and Kirk Herbstreet uh, on Amazon Prime. Uh, phew, man, the Raiders are favored by three. They're at home. Justin Herbert's out for the year. Aiden O'Connell versus whoever the backup quarterback is for the LA Chargers. Whew, give me the Chargers, man. I don't know. Just give me the Chargers. Get it out of here. Get it out of my face. Then we got some Saturday games. Saturday, December 16th. Now, there were like five games that weren't scheduled for this week. And I was hoping. I was like, man, please let the Colts be a Saturday so I don't have to get that day off because I work Sundays. And lo and behold, the Colts play on Saturday, December 16th. But let's get that. Let's get to that here in a second. The Minnesota Vikings take on the Cincinnati Bengals. The, Ve the Vikings got to win, like I said last week. The Bengals, they also got to win. They beat up on my Indianapolis Colts. So the Bengals are at home. They're favored by three. Zach Taylor's trying to rally the fans, trying to get them all riled up for this Saturday afternoon game. And I, I think they take care of business. I think the Cincinnati Bengals... I, I, they're up favored by three. Right now, Jake Browning's playing really good football, and they're running the ball pretty well. They've got receivers, T. Higgins, Jamar Chase. Man, they're it's it's tough to stop that offense. It really is. Um, then we've got the 430 game. The Indianapolis Colts take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this game is huge, has huge impl playoff implications. The Pittsburgh Steelers are at six. The sixth seed in the playoffs right now. They're seven and six. The Indianapolis Colts, they're the seventh seed in the playoffs right now. Guess what record they are? They're seven and six. This game is absolutely massive. The Indianapolis Colts have not beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers since 2005. I was at that game. That was one of the more. I remember that game. I, I, I remember the game. 
as a matter of fact, I bet you that I've still got the ticket right here. This isn't the book. I thought for sure this is the book. It's this book. And it should be right here in the front. It is, right here. There it is. The Monday Night Game, 2005. That was the last time the Indianapolis Colts have beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers in Indianapolis. The last time the Colts beat the Steelers, period, was in November of 2008 when Peyton Manning was under center. That's how long it's been since the Colts have last beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to happen. It's going to happen on Saturday. The Indianapolis Colts are going to take care of the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they are one and a half point road underdogs. So that means the Colts are favored. Mitch Trubisky is taking the snap for the Pittsburgh Steelers because Kenny Pick is out. Okay, Gardner Minshew, Gardner Minshew, you just going to go Super Bowl, baby. That's what my buddy Chris keeps saying, man. Hey, shout out to you, Chris. Shout out to you, man, for believing in this team, for believing in Gardner Minshew, man. Even when I don't necessarily believe in Gardner Minshew every single snap, I'm still, I still he's my quarterback, though. He's my quarterback this season, but sometimes, just, hey, I don't know. I don't know, but Gardner Minshew, he's, 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 he's solid, okay? You know, but if he do the right thing, take care of the football, we can, you know, we can win this game and go to the playoffs, all right? Let's do it. But Najee Harris been playing solid, 171 carries. 690 yards. Look, this is a big game for the Colts. This is an absolutely big game for the Colts. The Colts need to win this game, and I think they do. I think the crowd is going to be bumping. I'm talking too much about this game. That's why I stopped talking about the stats because I, I, I forgot. This isn't my Colts Steelers breakdown. This is my picks of the week. This is my week 15 picks. So Colts are going to win this one, okay? Now, the Denver Broncos the night game. This is actually a pretty solid game. Okay, the Denver Broncos started off the season how they started off the season. The Lions, they've slipped up a little bit as of late. They lost the Chicago Bears. Honestly, probably should have gotten swept by the Chicago Bears. But nonetheless, they got beat by the Chicago Bears last week. They're 9-4. and four. They take on the Denver Broncos, who are pretty hot. The Broncos beat the Chargers last week 24-7. Broncos are on the road. Sean Payton's got this boys humming. The Lions, they need this game. Um, the Packers and... For the, the Packers and the Vikings. See, the Vikings aren't... They're to about two games back. So, the Lions need to get some more separation between... You know, especially if the Vikings get some help. Or if the Packers get... Excuse me. If the Bengals beat the Vikings. Then that means the Lions, you know, would all but win the division. I think the Lions do win this game. This is... The, I, I'm rooting for the Lions in this game. I definitely am. But it's a home game. Detroit... Saturday night game, Detroit's going to be bumping, man. It's going to be tough for D Denver to play in this environment. And if they win, look out, man. This, this is getting tight. Like I said, the Denver Broncos, they're one of six teams in the AFC right now at 7-6. and six. So every game for every single one of these teams matters. Then we get into Sunday. Last week, the Kansas City Chiefs, they lost. I don't know if you saw it. They lost to the Buffalo Bills 20-17. In that game... Something happened where Kadarius Tony was offside. He was offside. Okay, he he was 1,000% offside. Somebody said they should have blown. I think it was Peyton Manning. They should have blown the play dead in that moment. That's actually a really good like point. They should have blown the play dead. So none you don't know what happens. You know what happens as a result of it. But nevertheless, they lost the game. Patrick Mahomes went berserk on the sidelines. And man, that was the first time that I've seen Patrick Mahomes like that. And this game against the New England Patriots when there's so much controversy surrounding the Patriots, not controversy, I don't want to say so much surrounding the Patriots right now because a report just came out saying that the Patriots might part ways with Bill Belichick at the end of the season, you know, and but look, I, I, I don't know how it's going to go, but there's some, there's some decision making that's going to happen when it's in the Patriots organization right now, but right now, the Chiefs are eight-point road favorites. So, yeah, I think the Chiefs easily win this game. Patriots don't have a chance. Uh, Chiefs, they're in third in the AFC at eight and five. They, like I said, they lost. They had, they missed a great opportunity. The Dolphins missed a great opportunity to gain even more traction on the Chiefs and get even closer to that one spot. The Ravens, they're the, the one that really won the weekend. They had that punt return for a touchdown against the Rams last week. I should get to the Ravens here later. But the Ravens, they're, they're on their way 
for the number one spot. The Dolphins lost, the Chiefs lost, the Jags lost. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. I didn't realize that the two of the three of the top four seeds all lost in the AFC. But yeah, the Chiefs are gonna beat the Patriots. Then we got the Jets at the Dolphins. Dolphins, like I said, they lost to the Tennessee Titans. They're eight and a half point favorites. They're gonna win. They're gonna beat the Jets. Then the Chicago Bears coming off a win against the Detroit Lions against the Cleveland Browns, who coming off a win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's good. I now I'm rooting for the Bears, even though the the Browns have a head-to-head -head win over us and they have a game over us. Still rooting for the Bears, but the Browns are gonna win this game. The Browns are definitely gonna win this game. Their defense is playing pretty solid, even though they're banged up. Joe Cool, Joe Flacco, man. He's back and he's slinging the rock, man. I, the Browns can go on a run. If Joe, if Joe Flacco is playing the way he's playing, man, the Browns can go on a run. Right? The Browns are gonna win this one. Then we have the battle of the bottom two. Not even the bottom two. I don't know why I'm saying that. Yeah, technically the bottom two in the AFC South. But that's just that's that sounds like a diss to the Houston Texans. But the Texans are taking out the Titans. The Titans are favored by three points in this game. That might be because CJ Stroud might be out. Um, he, I think he did have a concussion at the end of the game last week. Um, and the Texans, I'm sorry, the Titans, they're coming off a big win. They just beat the Dolphins on the road. So maybe the Titans, you know, the Titans, they're not going to make the playoffs. They're a five win team. They're five and eight. The Texans are six and, or seven and six. I'm actually rooting for the Titans in this one. It is in Tennessee, but... I don't think the Titans win this one unless C.J. Stroud doesn't play. If Davis Mills comes in and plays at quarterback, I can I can see how the Titans win. But right now, I'm picking the Texans to win. And then a game that, I mean, I guess it matters because the Saints, Falcons, and Buccaneers are all tied for first in the NFC South at 6-7. and seven. The Saints, they talk, take on the Giants, who Tommy DeVito balling. He's balling. He's he's winning games for the Giants. He just won against the Green Bay Packers on Monday night. He got it dubbed for the New York Giants. Tommy DeVito. He's balling. And I think the Giants keep it up. I think the Giants go on the road. And I think the Giants beat the Saints. The Saints are actually favored by six points. Forget all that. Giants are winning this football game. And then another NFC South matchup. The Atlanta Falcons, as I said, they're six and seven. They actually were in the division lead last week they lost the division lead now it's the buccaneers who are in that four slot in the nfc at six and seven but the falcons take on the carolina panthers in carolina the carolina panthers the worst team in the league they've been eliminated from the playoffs for a couple weeks now they're one and twelve no chance the carolina panthers win this game the falcons are gonna they're gonna they're gonna win okay to put put up lightly they're gonna win and then another big game for the NFC South. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they travel to Lambeau Field to play the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers mad after the loss to the New York Giants. At Lambeau, they're favored by three and a half. This is a big game because the Green Bay Packers are the seventh seed in the playoffs right now at six and seven. They need this game and I think they get this game. Packers win. And here we go, probably the most lopsided game of the weekend. The San Francisco 49ers are taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Division matchup, division rivalry. I don't want to say rivalry, but division matchup. The, the 49ers are favored by 12 and a half on the road, which means that the Niners that this game's gonna be a lot closer than what people think. Probably not. I'm just I'm just saying that. But the Niners are gonna win. I think that I think I do think this game is a lot closer than what people think it's gonna be. Just the fact that they're division opponents. The Niners, they've actually clinched a spot in the NFC playoffs right now. They're 10 and 3. They're one of three teams in the NFL who have 10 wins already. So yeah, give me the Niners in this one. Uh, if they win this one, that would further submit themselves. I think winning the division, I gotta I gotta double check what their division standings are, but I don't think anybody's particularly close to them. No. No, if they if the Niners win this one, that'll give them 11 wins on the season. They will win the division. If the San Francisco 49ers win this game against the Arizona Cardinals, they will win the division. But yeah, go ahead and give me the San Francisco 49ers. Then we've got the Washington Commanders traveling to the LA Rams. Rams, they're playing pretty well. They're playing good football. 
Let's see what the Rams are here. They were three and two in their last five. They did lose to a really good Baltimore Ravens team, but they put it to them. Okay, they gave the Ravens all they all they could handle. And the Rams did not come out on top. They're playing the Commanders this week, though. The Commanders, they're four and nine. The Rams, they're on the outside, just right there at the eight seed. On the outside, looking in at six and seven. They're hoping the Packers slip up uh, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Rams, I think they get a win here. I think they win and advance to seven and seven. And then we're oh, this might be one of the, this might be the game of the week. This might be the game of the week after the Bills. I counted the Bills out. Okay, they were six and six, and I thought the Chiefs were going to win, which would put them at six and seven. And would pretty much eliminate them from the playoffs. But they won themselves a huge football game. No matter how they won it, they still won the football game. The Buffalo Bills are in it. And they're favored by two and a half against the Dallas Cowboys. Who now lead, now for the moment, lead the NFC East. Now, if the Cowboys went out and the Eagles went right now. Right now, the Cowboys have a better division record. But if the Cowboys went out and the Eagles went out. The Eagles will have a better division record, therefore winning the division, which will put the Cowboys at a wild card spot. Cowboys, they're on the road at the Buffalo Bills. Now, I think the Cowboys are absolutely humming. I think they are a wagon, regardless of whether at home or away. If they get home field advantage, not necessarily like over the 49ers, but if they win their division, the Cowboys can go on a run to at least the NFC Championship. You know, that's the minimum. But if they are on the road, if they're a wild card team, and you have to go to, uh, to to go to Philadelphia or go to San Francisco, it's going to be a lot tougher to go on that run. But huge game, and I think Dallas wins. I think Dak Prescott right now is playing at an MVP level. I think I think the Cowboys they just feel different this year. They don't feel like the, the, the same old Cowboys. But we'll see. Only time will tell. But I think the Cowboys get a really really big win against an AFC opponent. 425, that game is, you can make an argument for both of these games. The Sunday night game is the Baltimore Ravens at the Jacksonville Jaguars. I I would say that this game would all but cement the Ravens at the top of the AFC if they were to win this one. The Ravens are actually three-point road favorites. So, I'm actually taking the Ravens in this one. I think the Ravens go on the road against the banged up Trevor Lawrence. You know, he twisted his ankle a couple weeks ago or whatever he did. He came back against the Browns and they lost. So I'm actually thinking that the Ravens come on the road and they win. Big, big game for really the whole landscape of the AFC. So we'll see what happens. Then we finish it out with Monday night. Now the, the Cowboys fans are going to be rooting for the Seahawks. Hardcore. But I don't see it happen. The Eagles at the Seahawks. Eagles four point favorites. The Eagles have lost the last two. They're 10 and 3. I don't say the last two. Yes, actually, they have lost the last two to the San Francisco 49ers and then to the Cowboys last week. So but that's it, man. We've got some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff going on in the NFL. I, I can't wait for this weekend of football. Saturday, Saturday, the Colts at, or I'm sorry, the Steelers at the Colts. I'll be there. Hey, I'll be there. I'll be there. Be ready to rock, baby. Be ready to go. But that's it. Week 15. We're getting ready to start it tomorrow. Let's go.